Alright guys, this may be the coolest freaking thing I've ever done to a gun. <laughs> I'm finally getting to play with it some. This is a 10 yard, those are 6 inch plates at 10 yards and I just slayed them. I swear anywhere you put that dot, as long as you pull the trigger without moving the gun, I know that sounds stupid, but that's the whole thing with me. I tend to push the gun. So this is my training aid to uh, keep me from pushing the gun. So as I pull the trigger and the dot doesn't move, that's a good thing, Rob. You've done good. There's marks on that 75-yard plate out there from this, uh, from this dot. I mean, it's just incredible. And I'll tell you the one thing that's really cool, and I don't know if this will turn me into an open shooter or not, I'm not wearing any magnification. The target is crystal clear. The dot is crystal clear. Uh, it's raining right now and I don't want to quit. Uh, now I did some comparison side by side with the iron sight gun and this gun and everything I do is quicker with this. Uh, so I don't know. Um, it's pretty cool. All I gotta say. Uh, so in order to undo this and I want to use this as a limited gun, all I have to do is unscrew this, take this off, and put my sight back in there um, and boom back to a limited gun but I, guys I can't tell you how much of a good thing this is as a training aid um, I might even run shoot open tomorrow at uh, at the at the match uh, and this is with the Aftec extractor only one issue today that I didn't know what it was okay it's raining like hell uh, one issue all day out of several hundred rounds, maybe, nah, not several hundred, maybe 200 rounds. So I feel like it's pretty damn reliable. 